Hi guys, this is QO again. Today's lecture is training number two. First, let's take a look at the main importance. Construction feature combination, which is intersection, the line method. Let's take a look at the datum A first. Same as the training number one. Top surface of the uh, sample for leveling. And then let's take a look at the datum B. Datum B is a line that it crosses the uh, two circles center. So measure two circles first, and then we're going to create a line that crosses the uh, two circles center. And then datum C, circle number one, and translation. So after that, measure another circle, it's the diameter 10, inspect the dimension number one and two, and then create your PCD and then inspect the uh, dimension number 3 and 4. So how to create a PCD? I'll get to the details in the practice video. So after creating the uh, PCD, you can set the origin to center of the datum D which is the PCD circle and then recall the third circle to inspect the uh, dimension 11 and 12. Okay, let's take a look at the practice video. Okay, first, let's set up an alignment. Measure a plane on the top surface of the sample. and then click alignment and click leveling and then for the datum B measure two circles first And then select circle number one and two while you're pressing the control key and then the menu will change on the top screen and select create a line and after you create a line click alignment and then click rotation And then click circle number one for translation. Now to set the alignment, we're going to measure the third circle, which is the diameter of 10. And let's put the nominal values, which is the dimension number one and two. And then after that, select circle one, two, and three while you're pressing the control key. And then click measure circle. And then a question would pop up, select no to merge with compensated data. And then select yes to generate as a projected circle. And then select yes or no, depending on the shape of the circle. And then the PCD is created. 
and let's put the nominal value for the PCD circle which is the dimension number 3 and 4 And after that, click circle 4, click alignment and translation to move the origin. And after origin is moved, and right click circle 3 and generate circle 5 and modify the nominal value for circle 5, which is the dimension 11 and 12. Okay, and that's it for training number 2. And I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.